Hi guys, so I've been MIA for a while and there's two reasons. One, clearly I'm sick. Two, I got a terrible haircut. This is not even the terrible part of it. This is better than what it was before. I went to Regis, oh, I want to say a month ago to get my hair trimmed and you guys know it was like down to here, like near my breast area. And I was like, I'm going to go get it cut because it was getting kind of dry and it was just it looked bad. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go get it cut. Went to Regis. I walked in. It was probably like seven at night. So I probably shouldn't have gone because the stylists are probably tired by then, but oh, you know, whatever. So I go in. They're like, yeah, one of our stylists will be done in a minute. And, um, she was doing somebody's hair then. And when she was finished, the girl's hair looked great. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I sit down in the chair and I tell her, you know, I, I want you to cut off whatever's dead, you know, whatever. So she shows me and it was going to end up right about here. And I thought, that's not bad. You know, it was, I think it was five inches in total that she was going to cut off. So she gets to cutting. Um, well, she washed my hair first, obviously talked to me about my hair and then she cut it and she kept turning me around, turning me around so that I couldn't really see what was going on. But I mean, I didn't feel that bad until I caught a glimpse of the hair on the floor and I was like, whoa. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So. Um, when she was finished, my hair looked really bad. And my husband kept, like, shooting me these looks like, oh, my God. It looks really bad. Like, this this is still a bad haircut, okay? You can see it's still uneven. It's still terrible, okay? the whole This whole haircut, I hate it. But the haircut before this was a thousand times worse. So I'm getting a cough drop. So... When I was done, I looked like I had a mullet. It was, um, I kept calling it the fancy mullet because all the hair up here was this length. Where is it? This length here. It was all up here, but she had blown it out so that it was like up here. And my hair was really huge. And it was, this top part was super short like this. I'm trying to fluff it so you guys can see how huge she made it. And then this part was all straight. And it was way down here. And I I literally looked like um, like if a preppy kid had gotten a scene haircut and it just went wrong, 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 right? So I was like, <laughs> my initial reaction was, what the hell is this? And then after that, I mean, she kept looking at me, the hairstylist. She kept looking at me and she's like waiting for me to say something because my face is this and I was looking at myself and I'm like looking at my hair and I'm like trying to touch it and trying to make it less hideous and I was just like and she I could see her looking at me you know out of the side of my whatever you call it peripheral vision I could see her and I looked at her and I was like I don't know if I like it and she was like and then she got this puppy dog face and I felt so sad and I felt really bad because I was like maybe I was just in shock at the length of it. So she's like, I did it so big like this so you could see all the layers. Let me describe this haircut to you. In the front, it was about this long, okay? And it um, had three very distinct layers. There was two, one here, one here, and then one up here. Well, I guess I'm exaggerating because it was this length here. So one up here. But the way she had done it, it looked like it was up here, okay? So there's a layer up here, then a layer down here, and then the very bottom there's two layers and then one layer. It was so disconnected. It looked really stupid. And I was just like, <coughs> what the hell? So that night we went out with our friends. Like literally I went and got my hair cut and then we went out with my friends, with our friends. And my friend is so sweet. She's like, no, I were you know, we had been drinking and playing pool and she I showed it to her because I had it up in a ponytail and we went to the bathroom and I showed it to her and she goes, oh no, it's, it's probably cute. And you probably just, you probably just don't know. I was like, you are so drunk right now. So <laughs> when I got home the, when I got home or whatever, I washed my hair out and I said, you know, in the morning I'll style it because I mean, maybe I just don't like the way she styled it. So I got up in the morning, I <laughs> brushed my teeth, and then I said, I'm going to try to fix this hair. And so <laughs> I, I blow dried it out, nothing. I tried to put my extensions into it to blend it, nothing. I was like furious. So I called the salon, 
and asked to speak to a manager, and she wasn't there. And um, then they were like, oh, she won't be back till Tuesday. That was Sunday morning. And I was like, oh, great. I get to live with this haircut for however long now. And then on Tuesday morning, she actually called me before I even had a chance to call her because I was going to call her promptly at 11 a.m. because that's what time they told me she came in. She called me at 1045 and was like, you know, what's going on? And I told her, and she said, oh, my gosh, you know, I'm so sorry. Go ahead and come in on Thursday. And I was like, okay. So I went in, and <laughs> she was like, her face was like, oh, my God. And I know she wanted to laugh at me because she goes, I'm going to be right back. And she went into the back, and she was gone mm -hmm. for like two minutes. So I know she's back there laughing because it was so bad. Mom is going to keep screaming in the background because she's totally insane. Every time she gets here, she's screaming. Like a nut because I always go hello hello every time to greet her because I love her so much so anyways you're gonna hear her and then probably see her so she gets back to the chair the hairstylist gets back to the chair and she's like honey I'm so sorry but I'm gonna have to cut off all of this length there's no way I can blend them p.s. we were having like um like an ice storm thing and here in Texas like when we get a little bit of ice it's like the end of the world has come so everybody's freaking out so she was in a rush to get home. You could tell. I have to cough and you're going to have to excuse me. So she was in a rush to get home. And I was like, you know, I just want you to fix it so that I could go outside and look like a human being. So she did. When she fixed it, I was like, thank God. It's not as bad as it was. Um, and now I look like a human being with, you know, terrible taste in haircuts because... I hate the haircut. I still hate it. It's still a little bit disconnected for me. I'm going to go to a different salon and have somebody fix it again because I just hate it. And it was also like a light brown. You guys know my my lighter brown hair color that I usually have. Um, so I dyed it red because I was like, no, I hate it. Because this haircut makes me look old and feels like one of those dated 1999 haircuts. <laughs> like It really reminds me of like soccer mom hair from the 90s. It's just horrible and I hate it. So I'm going to insert some pictures here. Sometime. So you can see the hideousness that is the hair that I had. And I straightened it out in these pictures, but it's like, here's some hair. Here's some hair. And they're really bad. So, I mean, the haircut's still crap, but I'm going to order some hair extensions in a shorter length to try to blend it all out so I don't look like such a hideous beast. So, anyways, bye, guys.